What's going on, YouTube? I am God as my source, aka Gems. And you might be wondering to yourself, why you pronounce the G like that when he said Gems? And my response is, I'm a grown man, I do what I want. And we about to get into some more new music. An unprecedented three videos in one day. Woo! Pumping it out for y'all today. Um, so we got some new music from Lecrae featuring John Legend. Uh, it's called Drown. Just dropped on yesterday, I believe. So we're going to get into that. Um, I've mentioned my feelings on Lecrae several times on this channel. So um, I go into these songs already on the fence, especially when it's featuring a secular artist. Um, you can tell, though, John Legend does have some gospel in his roots. but uh, And he may be a Christian. I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know his beliefs. I just know that his lifestyle, you know isn't a very christian like so we're just gonna get into the song and you know lecrae does typically make hot music i haven't been a fan of his music as of late but many are and i mean he does he does still have some 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 songs that i like now i'm not saying he's trash now or anything like that he's far from it but let's get into it That's it for that one. Uh, it's kind of what I expected. If you were just hearing the song and you didn't know anything about the artist, there is no way you'd be able to tell that Lecrae is a Christian based on that song. Now, I don't want to sound like a hater. The song itself is nice. It's a nice song. Um, John, Le The hook is hot. 
You know, I like the hook. The hook's probably my favorite part of the song. Uh, beat is beat is decent. You know, production is just decent on that. But uh, it doesn't make you feel anything. At least not me. It doesn't make me feel anything. Um, in the song, you can tell like it's meant to be like he's talking to someone. But you, there's no... Is he talking to God? I don't know and I definitely can't tell. He's saying he don't know who to trust. As a Christian, you should know who to trust. You can trust Jesus. You know who to turn to. He said he don't know who to turn to. You don't know who to trust. Like, that's who you turn to. That's who you trust. But he's saying he don't know. So, like, what is the message of this song? Even, like, it even end like, on a positive note, like, like somebody came or somebody let him know about Jesus and, you know, he saw the truth or something. Like, nothing in that song, It just it's just talking about how, you know, I guess he feels like he's drowning or he doesn't want to drown because he's going through so much and he don't know who to turn to. And that's it. This doesn't end on a positive note. That is just it. What is that song? Like, who does that encourage or who does that build? It didn't even tell. He doesn't even let people know who it is they're supposed to turn to. Even if the, the song is about someone or himself, who knows, not knowing who to turn to. It doesn't let them know who to turn to when we all know that he knows. We all know he knows, but he doesn't tell people in his music. He does not tell you in that song who it is you're supposed to turn to and who it is that you can trust. This is my problem with Lecrae. That song is just like a, a, a regular mainstream song. And, I mean, it don't make... People in the world might feel something from that song. I'm... I'm sure it ain't going to be a positive feeling because there's nothing positive in the message of that song. There was no, you know, no happy ending or anything. You know what I mean? There's nothing positive about it. So if you're going through, if you're really going through problems that you feel like you're drowning and you can't, you know, you don't know who to turn to, you're just going to stay feeling like that if you was listening to the song in the world. Now, me personally, it don't make me feel anything. That song didn't touch me at all. It's just a nice song. You know, it sounded nice. The hook was nice. The beat was nice. You know, it was okay. I don't want to say nice because <laughs> when I say nice, like, I really liked it. It was, the beat was okay. The hook was nice. I, but it's John Legend. John Legend can sing. So, you know, the hook was nice. Ah, uh, that song was, ah, uh, I'm very disappointed. I'm so disappointed in that. I'm, I'm disappointed because Lecrae knows. He knows, but he's not letting people know that he knows. And that's a problem. I mean, this dude built his career, right, off being unashamed. Isn't that what he used to say all the time? He's unashamed. What is this? You ain't mentioned Jesus. I mean, you literally talking about how you don't know who to turn to? I'm I'm babbling. I'm preaching over here, going on, going, trying to go. On. I, I wasn't even trying to do all of that. It's just frustrating. It's frustrating, and I'm disappointed in that. Because he knows. He knows better. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about this song. Let me think. Let me know about what you think about this, uh, the message of this song, the content. How do you feel about it? Do you are you okay with it just being a nice song and there doesn't have to be, you know, a message in, in every song? Or you feel like Lecrae doesn't have to point you to Jesus in every song? Do, uh, let me know how you feel about it and, and about this direction, about this type of music coming from you know, an artist that is a Christian. Because that's what Lecrae likes to be referred to as. He's not a Christian rapper. He's a rapper that's a Christian. So, let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Be blessed.